Prince Harry, who has previously criticized the media's coverage of him and his wife Meghan Markle contributed to a report by a U.S. think tank into disinformation. The report made 15 recommendations after a sixth. Harry described online misinformation as a global humanitarian issue that needs to be tackled by policies including investment in local journalism and cracking down on super spreaders of fake news. Author and BBC presenter Dr. Tessa Dunlop spoke with Richard Eden about the Crown on Palace Confidential. Dr. Dunlop said, you don't have to be a historian to know that a lot of the misinformation in the Crown is actually part of the entertainment. I think there is an issue for Harry because huge numbers of those who enjoy and watch the Crown seem to take it as, as the truth. That's where he falls over. That's why HES got I think stop talking about misinformation because he got his fingers in the tip. Mr. Eden added, you know, it's become more and more raw as the series has got closer to the present day. So the series that they are filming, they will lead up to Diana's death, they will be about the son's reaction. The host asked, are they also touching on the sensitive subject of Martin Bashir? Mr. Eden said, Prince William has been very strong and Harry, in terms of Martin Bashir and the what went on to try and get this interview and now this is going to be served up as entertainment. The Crown has previously been criticized for blurring fact and fiction, and some have even called for the program to broadcast a disclaimer at the start to highlight it as a fictional drama. Prince Harry said about the show, it's, but it's loosely based on the truth. Of course it's not strictly accurate, but it gave a rough idea of the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else. The latest series of The Crown will detail Princess Diana's last years before her death, including her romances with Hazmat Khan and Dodi Al-Fayed. Diana died in a car crash alongside Dodi in Paris in 1997.